afternoon sa bawat isa and uh and also a blessed evening po kay uh Renz uh anak po uh, ni uh, Sister Ren magandang hapon po tatay ding pastor ding good afternoon po Agri fam na nasa online din po and Jonathan ang um, Noy Noy family kuya bay and the kids magandang hapon po and Dian galing Lipad magandang hapon po and joining us Gupo family welcome po muli sa ating divine service ngayong uh, Friday hello po Blessed evening. Grupo na grupo. Amen. Grupo. Yes, so makita na. Hi Josh. Binata na po ang ating Joshua ni Papa Kana. Binata na daw. Sabi ng mga tito. Ayun. And also dito sa aming Oh, ito one no. Hi Ate Ella D. Hi Josh. Pinata na Masal masal Not a kid anymore Teenager na Praise God Ayun po, and dito rin po Binabati ko rin po ang bawat isa Nang magandang O pinagpalang hapon Sa ating lahat Uh, nandito po si Jola Nakasama natin today yeah. Praise God Si Sis Ren Ati Vanessa And Van Van And Kuya Ar Arden, Arden. Yun Praise God Nakasama natin siya ngayon Nagkaroon, yeah. nagkaroon siya ng off na Friday Kuya Derek uh, Brother Romel Kuya Herman And Pastor Albert And Randy <laughs> Praise God po uh, Sabi po sa Psalms 118 verse 26 Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord From the house of the Lord We bless you Are we blessed po? Amen, Amen. We are blessed because We have given the opportunity today Na once again we will see God Once again we will worship God And we will receive his message Amen po So uh, But Sa pagpapatuloy po natin, let me just uh, call on Testimony Ah, sige po, bago po, bago ko po tawagan ang ating uh, uh, Mag-delete ng ating opening prayer Let me call on Sister Yan po To share, share her uh, testimony po Kapi-kapi lang, kapi-kapi Ako na ba? Kapi-kapi Kapi-kapi Yung final Starbucks Pangunahan ko na lang po So um, God is good po um, Kahapon na Parang na Introduction ko na po kay Tatay Pastor Ting Yung uh, Gusto ko po yung pagpasalamat And Siyempre po Sa kabutihan po ng Panginoon Gusto ko po yung pagpasalamat yung um, covering niya sa buong pamilya namin and always sabi nga kahapon sa word ni um, at Sister Yen yung, uh, yung God supplies uh, everything and more than with what we need so praise God um, Lord to God po uh, yun nga po gusto ko po ipagpasalamat yung may bago ulit project si Daddy Maliit pero God is good that the Lord is working yan yung ano uh, loyalist loyalista ang title kasama niya sila Alice Dixon sila Claudine Barreto sila sino pa ba yan? si Ejercito mas yeah. mga iba hindi ko nakilala so by the grace of the Lord may konti siyang part doon and continue uh iko continue nila yung yung shooting nila pagbalik galing Bangkok. And isa pa, isa pa po yun na gusto yung pagpasalamat. Grabe si Lord. Nagda-drive po kami papunta dito sa church. May mga gustong i-attack si, si Taning sa aming family. Kasi nga, um, muntik maywanan si Renz ng eroplano dahil uh, matagal yata siya nang nakasakay kasi nasira yung sasakyan. So, um, nag-ano siya, nag-commute siya from city to airport. City to airport namin, minimum nun one hour. 
and umalis si Renz sa city parang mga 30 minutes 30 minutes na lang magko-close na yung ano yung bo, oh Sa yung pag-check-in check counter. counter so syempre initial reaction ng ng tatay medyo high blood tapos si ate syempre nagpapanik na yung buong pamilya kasi nga baka maiwanan last flight to Cagayan Manila yun so but praise god Ayun, sabi na namin, sabi ko talaga, guys, kaila Kuya Romeo, tsaka kaila Jola, pray tayo, ganyan. And true enough talaga si Lord. Sabi sabi ni Jola, ate, pa-check mo, baka na-delay yung flight. So, pag-check nung flight, praise God, na-delay siya ng one hour. So, God is good, grabe. Sobrang bilis, mabilis pa sa alas 4 yung prayer na. Yun, may ngayon, waiting na po si Ren sa airport. May boarding pass na rin siya. God is so good. Gusto ko po ipagpasalamat yung sobrang goodness ng Panginoon na if we just really rely on Him, syempre hindi natin may iwasan yung humanity natin na may initial reaction pa rin natin na tayo, emotions yung and, uh, and all. But at the end of the day, when we entrust it to the Lord, the Lord will make His way. And always yung way niya parating napaka amazing. So, um, glory, glory to God po. Um, papunta na po sila mamayang madaling araw yung flight nila ni Daddy pa, Bangkok. So, salamat po sa mga nanalangin at sa patuloy na nanalangin na um, they would be blessed and that, ano, at marami pang tinuturo si Lord sa aming buong pamilya sa travel na yan. So, glory to God po yung friends. Gusto kong pagpasalamat. Mm -hmm. Uy, bilis yan! <laughs> Amen. Praise God po sa favor and grace ng Lord sa family po ni Sister Renz. May nag- sa side sa amin. Improving down. Amen. Ayun po. Sister Cha. Hi, Sister Cha. Ayun. Nasa Philippines siya, I believe. Yun. Welcome. We miss you. Ang tagal na natin siya hindi nakakasama. Sige po, we're glad na makasama ka even sa, ano po, sa virtual. Sige po, anyone pa po na gustong magbigay ng testimony? Sige po, 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 sige po. Mag-testimony daw ako kasi naanto ako. <laughs> um, I would like to thank God na nasustain ko yung buong RR days. Kasi every day yes. ako tinatawag. <laughs> Amen! And medyo naka-recover na kahit na parang may sipon. And after all ng mga natanggal na flights na balik naman and more pa ang binigay ni God. Amen. So, ayun. Praise God for that. Hello! <laughs> Amen. Thank you, God. Uh, sige po, ako, uh, mabilis lang. I praise God din po sa last na days of ko na naka-uwi ako to be able to celebrate with the uh, family yung first birthday po ng pamangkin ko. So, ayun. Salamat po sa favor ng Lord and grace po. Ayun. Uh, sige po, sa ating pagpapatuloy, tinatawag ako na po si Kuya uh, Brother Derek to lead us in uh, sa atin pong opening prayer. Yes. Yeah. Testimony. 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 Testimony.
Ikaw, Panginoong Jesus, ay pagpikuran. Sa mga maghihintabing mga kayaan at Panginoon, tanggapin mo, Panginoong Jesus, ang aming mga uh, uh, mga bunting handog, Panginoon. At sa mga oras nito, O Diyos, nasa po namin humingi ng kapatawaran. Ano man, Panginoon, ang aming mga nagawang kasalanan, Panginoon. Nakasakit man kami, Panginoon, ang aming mga kapwa. Nakapagsalita kami, Panginoon, ang hindi maayos. Hindi ka namin nalugod, Panginoon. At mga karumihan, Panginoon, nakikita mo, O Diyos, sa aming mga puso. Alisin niyo po ito, Panginoon. Upang kami, Panginoon, ay malaya, Panginoon, makapagpuri, makapaghandog, Panginoon, ng mga awitin, O Diyos, na gusto namin iaaray sa iyo. Pagpalain mo, Panginoon, ang mga salita mo na ibabahagi, Panginoon, ng iyong anak sa mga oras na ito. Dalangin namin, O Diyos, ng mensahe, Panginoon, ng iyong uh, mga salita, Panginoon, ay maging pagkain, Panginoon, ng aming mga kaluluwa. Ito, Panginoon, Jesus, ay may pamuhay namin bilang mga anak mo. At makita sa amin, Panginoon, sa saliputan, Panginoon, habang maginan narito, Panginoon, ang iyong uh, uh, salita, Panginoon, ay namumuhay, Panginoon, sa aming mga buhay. Pagpapalain mo, Diyos, ang araw, mga oras na ito, Ikaw po, Panginoon, na manguna sa amin. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, yung uh, uh, mga kapatid namin, Panginoon, na ngayon po ay nasa flight, Panginoon. Iingatan mo sila at gagabayan sila, Panginoon. Saan po, Panginoon, ang kanilang mga kasama, Panginoon, sa kanilang uh, flight, Panginoon. Yung mga nagbiyahe, Panginoon. Yung mga nasa Pinas, Panginoon. Ang mga hanap buhay, Panginoon, ang aming mga kapatid, O Diyos, patuloy mo itong pagpapalain, Panginoon. At gagamitin mo bilang daloy ng pagpapala at maging kagamit-gamit, Panginoon, sus, ang mga pagpapalang ito ay makaabon, Panginoon, sa iyong mga uh, anak, Panginoon, lalong-lalo na, Panginoon, sa gawain sa paglago, Panginoon, ng iyong mga salita. Maraming maraming salamat po aming ama sa mga ito. At pinabalik po namin ito na ang kapurihan, pinangmataas, na kapuri at pasalamat sa pangalan, Panginoon, sus, ay Amen. Amen. Glory and praise as we unto God only. Amen. Uh, sige po sa ating pong pagpapatuloy, uh, tatawagin ko na po, handa na po ba ang ating mga puso, ang ating mga isip? Uh, let's focus our our thoughts, our mind, our heart sa uh, mensahe po ng ating Panginoon sa gabing ito. And tatawagin ko na po ang ating Tatay Ding, Pastor Ding, to deliver the message of God tonight. Amen. Purihin po ang Panginoon sa buhay niya. Paliwanan po mo, Diyoko. Amen po. Amen po. Okay. Pastor Rabbi, DJ, may request na i-on screen mo yung ano? Yung Pilipian 4, 6, 10, 7. Amen po. Yung King James Version. King James Version. Philippians 4, 6. 4, 6. Amen. So, God. so, sige, tayo ay sumapilit na manalangin at uh, ipagkatiwala natin sa Panginoon ang kanyang mensahe sa gabi nito. Sige, O God. O God, O God, in one accord, in one spirit, in one faith, in one mind, O God, to honor you and to worship you on this day, Panginoon. Ito po kami, Panginoon. Inilin po namin ang yung Santo Espiritu, ang Santo Bispo sa amin. That every word, every encouraging word, O God, that you are going to impart and release in the midst of us. Ito, O God, ay magkaroon po na po ang saming mga puso. Ano po, O God, ang minanais mo na maghanap sa aming mga buhay? May itong word mo ito, O oh God, it's so happened many times in our life. In application, O oh God, all we need is you, Jesus, in our lives. Kaya sa araw na ito, Lord, thank you for the meditation of your word, the revelation of your word, Panginoon. In a simple way to remind us, O oh God, you're all we need, Jesus, according to your words, O oh God. Pinagkakatuwala ko po sa iyo ang aking buhay. I empty myself, I surrender myself, I humble myself unto you. At my religion, O oh God, that apart from you, I can do nothing, O oh God. 
Thank you for your love. Thank you for the peace. And the confidence that you are continually building it up, O oh God, until this life to serve you, O oh God, in spirit and in truth, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. To use the glory, the honor, O oh God, and thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. So, praise God, sa araw na ito ay nagkasama-sama tayo. Isa ang layunin natin to give glory, to praise, and to worship our living God. At itong salita ng Panginoon na ito is most of us, it is a memory verse sa ating mga buhay. Ito ay nakapatungkol sa panalangin in which I will just want to share up to you word by word na nung meditate ko ang word na ito how it applies into my life based on experience until this present times may nakita ako na na bagay na napaka-importante sa ating mga buhay bibilang isang kananang palataya. Now, I am talking to you as a believer. Kasi, eh, noong mga panahon na wala pa, ta, wala pa si Jesus Christ sa atin, we just rely on ourselves. Self-reliance o ano man ang mga problema. Amen. Sa ating mga buhay ay patuloy kong inihiling sa ating mga buhay na itong direksyon na ano ng message na ito is just reminding that us that all we need is Jesus. Amen. Uh, Pastor Randy, Yes po. Pwede yung, ver- yung version is New King James version? Wala. Wala. Pero ba? Wala po tayo. Ah, wala. O oh, sige, check, check it. Ano po na lang yung anong pwede? Ah. So, Google. itong verse na ito ay sa bawat araw ng ating buhay at my present stage of my life spiritually malaki ang bilang ang, ang encouragement in every day of my life dito sa verse na ito. Paul is just reminding us pray instead of yielding to anxiety sabi po ng salita ng Panginoon sa New King James Version, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Amen. Kagaya ng sinabi kanina at kagabi, sabi nga ni Pastor Arbert, Kanina sa pambugat na verse bago tayo mag-awitan is Cast your burden unto the Lord. He will not let the, right, the, he will not let the righteous to be moved. Hindi tayo pinapagpapayaan ng Panginoon. So, itong lahat ng ito ay ay nakaganap sa ating mga buhay. May mga burdens. Ang title pala ng mensahe ng Panginoon para malaman ninyo ang direksyon ng mensahe ng Panginoon according to this verse is I need Jesus. I need Jesus. Observasyon dito sa mundong ating ginagalawan. 
too much, too much anxiety ang nararanasan ng bawat tao, believer man o unbeliever. Nararanasan natin lahat ito. Either in our working environment, either in the family, nagkakasakit ang ating mga mahal sa buhay. May mga situation in life na dinadanas. At ang number one na ang safety na dinadanas ng isang tao is all about money. We have to face it. This is the reality of life at the busy stage of our life. So, it? Sabi ng Panginoon, money is the root of all evil. We need money. Yes, abang nandito tayo sa mundo, we need it. Pero no, hindi ang money ang magiging Diyos natin at ang Panginoon ang siyang Panginoon pa rin natin because sabi nga ni Apostle Paul sa pinag-aralan natin kagabi sa kanyang short message ang sabi ni Apostle Paul and my God shall supply all your needs according to your riches and glory. That means, kung titignan natin itong chapter 4 ng Philippians, dito rin sinabi ni Apostle Paul na yung contented siya sa kanyang buhay. Naranasan niya ang mga kahot, naranasan niya ang mga nagana, naranasan niya ang lahat ng bagay. At sabi ng Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthen me. Ano man ang sakit man niya, ano man ang problema, as long meron siyang Jesus nakagapay sa kanyang pananampalataya, contented na siya. Alam naman natin ang buhay ni Paul kung paano ang mga naganap sa kanyang buhay mula nung mag-decide siya na paglipuran ang ating Panginoon Siya'y nabilanggo at habang siya'y naglalakban. Eh, Una po, kaya sinasakyan. Kaya all of this, sinabi niya po sa Paul sa kanyang mga testimony. But, pinabayaan ba siya ng Panginoon? Hindi. Kaya sabi niya, I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. Ito ngayon ang nagbibigay sa atin ng motivation. It is a motivating factor. Whatever hardship, whatever anxiety that you are experiencing right now, ang sabi ng Panginoon, all you need is Jesus. Ang sabi ng salita ng Panginoon, all you need is Jesus. Amen? Kaya, ang sabi, una, sabi niya dyan, be anxious for nothing. Anxiety, distress, stress, challenges in every day of our life. Even sometimes it happens sa ating mga kapwa takatrabaho. It happens with the people surrounding us. Sabihin ko sa inyo ang totoo, mga kapatid, every 6 o'clock in the morning, we have a prayer time with my family in the Philippines. And I am leading my whole family in prayer. And before ako magpo-closing, I am praying, especially for the kind of poor situation that I am experiencing in every day of my life. I'm always saying that, Lord, wag mong ayaan yung self-control ko ay mawala. With all the people I'm going to talk and I'm going to deal with them. Self-control pa rin, Lord. Control everything within my surrounding. With the people I'm going to talk with. First thing in the morning, this is my prayer. Patatagin mo ako ng pananapalataya, me and my family. Kaya kong lampasan at maging matakupay yung isang araw. Tulungan mo ako, Panginoon. 
This is my everyday prayer. At this present times, because the situation is different, and I trust only the Lord, because is all I need in my life. Ang siya ay kay nararanasan po yun. Nararanasan natin lahat. Stress. Even, nai-share ko kami sa sa prayer partner sa kagabi. Kina Sister Karen kay Sister Yen. What is my present situation? Sabihin ko sa inyo ito, why are you going to take this ball? I am disturbed since yesterday evening. Ano ang nangyari kahapon, first day of Ramadan? Lord, sabi ko, nag-meditate ako na yung salita. Kailangan ko, oh God, ang isang, ang kainaunan, yung peace, yung reaction ng ating emosyon, controlling mo, Lord. And thanks be to God. At patuloy ako binibigyan ng wisdom ng Panginoon. At patuloy ako binibigyan ng wisdom ng Panginoon. How to answer this, this, why I am disturbed yesterday. Amen? So, ang gusto kong ipunto rito, kailangan ko si Jesus. Realization in our life, kailangan ko si Jesus because apart from Him, hindi ko kaya pagtagumpayan ang mag-apon. Hindi, mo, hindi natin kaya pagtagumpayan ang mga bagay na you are not going to be victorious. We have to realize that apart from the laban ng spiritual, supernatural we need it. And that supernatural thing is only makakamta natin through Jesus. May relationship tayo sa Kanya. We have a relationship. Tinanggap natin siya bilang ating Diyos. At meron tayong dapat gawin bilang isang mananang palataya Ito ang motivating factor natin kasi ang bigay ko natin ang relationship and we can call directly unto our God because the Spirit of God is within us even convicting us that we have to call unto our God and to us the help of the Holy Spirit Kaya ang sabi ni John Be anxious for nothing Be anxious for nothing Huwag tayong mapalisa Kaya Itong word na ito, nung unang panumpa, itong anxiety na ito, nararanasan na ng mga mananampalataya. Kaya, ang sinabi ni Apostle Paul, kung titignan natin yung mga unang talata, meron akong dalawang members sa Iglesia na merong hindi pagkakaunawaan at ang sabi ni Paul sa mga taga-Pilipians, mga Kristiyano na mga taga-Pilipians is, magkasundo na kayo. Is encouraging them because of difference. Amen. Kaya, sabi ng Apostle Paul, do not be anxious for nothing. Hey, it arrives in our life. Either you receive a call, either within the environment, within your working condition, it will receive more. What is the impact emotionally unto you? What is the impact personally unto you? Bakit ko tinanong ito? Kasi once you receive something, anxiety, you are moving at what? You are moving, you are moving and making a decision paano magagawa at magpapala itong anxiety na ito. But, ang gusto kong ipunto rito is itong the word but there is a big significance in my personal application there itong word but na ito is there is a big message the way I experience it in the name of Jesus sabi niya dyan be anxious for nothing. Just as I said unto you, since yesterday I am disturbed. I keep on praying. Ito the word but na ito is meron big significant 
before I go on in meditation. Pakarabang, itong the word but na ito is, I am anxious with the situation. Pero sabi ng salita ng Panginoon, do not be anxious for nothing, but para bang yung sasakyan na nagpreno ka muna, stop ka muna. Ito, yung, 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 i-divert ko muna ang attention mo. I-divert ko muna ang attention mo at ito ay mamili ka. Ayun, yung, yung emosyon mo ay patuloy na mag-react. The way of your feeling or you are going to divert and pray and ask God what is happening at what's what is the source of all this anxiety na naranasan natin but the word but is before going of prayer and asking God to lead us is kumain ba muna tayo I am calling this but is the word but it is ma a break like ng sasakyan yung tumumuna sa isang tabi at panahimik muna it is just like a break ng sasakyan uminto muna at wag ka munang gumalaw sa ating buhay it is it will make a big difference Bago tayo pumunta doon sa decision making or i-divert ang ating attention, let us investigate ano ang kondisyon ng ating puso. Ang sabi ng salita ng Panginoon, do not be, do not be out of this for nothing. But be still and know that I am God, sabi ng Panginoon. So may hindi muna tayo. Ito ang muna natin sa Panginoon to put trust everything I'm doing. I-prepare natin ang ating emotion na nakalaan na sa Panginoon sa ating buhay. Nakalaan na ang ating puso na pwede na, pa, na, na, pwede na natin kausapin ang Panginoon. Kasi ang sabi ng First Peter, sandit lang ha, 1 Peter 5 1 Peter 5, 6 and 5 Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that He may exalt you in due time casting all your care upon Him for He cares for you God cares for you Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, pumahimik ka muna nga. Condition your emotion. Condition your mind. Condition your spirit. Huwag mo dadaliin ng mga kabigatan niya. I-condition mo muna ang sabi mo. Ito ang gusto ko ipaywati dito bago tayong pumunta doon sa petition at panalangin sa ating Panginoon. We have to prepare our heart before we are going to worship. Just like when we, we prepare in our worship. Dapat nakaprate. Wala yung galit, wala yung hatred, wala yung, wala yung, wala yung anxiety, but let us prepare at harap tayo sa Panginoon that He is holy and He is a righteous God. Amen? Kaya sa ating paglapit, itong the word but it makes a big significant. Kaya, in my spiritual life, ito ang na-experience ko. Before I'm going, before I am talking unto God, sabi lang, salita ng Panginoon, kanina na bagay, cause your burden upon Him, He will not let the righteous to be moved. We are righteous in the eyes of God because of Jesus Christ. Amen? Kaya, we divert already our attention. We are prepared to talk unto God. We are prepared to communicate 
and Bokan. And we are prepared spiritually and we are prepared mentally at wala na yung mabigat na dala-dala. We are prepared to talk to God. We are prepared to tell Him everything what you need. At sabi niya, but in everything, in everything, and in yung everything, ano ba ang source ng anxiety mo? Now you are prepared. Wala na yung hatred, you raise forgiveness, you raise anything that is bothering you. And you are really prepared to talk and do our living God. Tell Him all what you need. In everything, tell Him all what you need. You have to confess. You have to declare by faith. You have to tell Him everything. Why? Because He is our God. Ang sabi ng, ng, ng salita ng Panginoon, Apostle Paul is encouraging us. And my God shall supply all your needs according to His riches and glory. Kaya itong talatang ito, itong Philippians chapter 6, ay chapter 4 verse 6, ito ay isang motivating factor in our life that we have to continually communicate unto God. No one, no one, lang tayo nakaka-experience ng anxiety in life. But God is telling us how to handle itong anxiety na ito. At kailangan natin ang ating Panginoon. Tell Him everything you need. You are anxious about because you need some financial because of your of your uh, kailangan na may sakit within the family. Tell Him unto God. Tell everything what you need. Ikaw ang nakakabatid, sabihin mo, siya ang Diyos na mga pangyariya, who can do miracle upon your life. Nangyayari sa trabaho mo, nagkakaroon ng mga issue, manipulating spirit, tell him ang bagay. Ito yung na-experience ko into my life. For the past days, I am praying for, for our site manager. Alam niyo mga kapatid, from technical office, nasa site office kami ngayon, at kasama namin, yung site manager namin, doon sa kwarto. Sabi ko nga sa sarili ko, itong kwarto ito is like hell. Arguments, sigawan, naano ang paninyo yung ano? Yung, kasi sa construction, isa mo eh. Talagang pagka nag-argument, ah, sigaw ang ganito, ikaw na nagtatrabaho, sana ikaw sa tayo, nagtatrabaho. Sabi ko, itong kwarto ito is, kapag wala sila sa kwarto at kami lang na, na, sa, na mga technical, ay salamat, tumahimik ang kwarto ito. This is a condition. Why I am experienced these verses? Every word is very important, that's why Early in the morning, I am praying, Lord, I am praying for our site manager. And thanks God, when I pray, nagbabago ang ambience ng surrounding. I just started praying three days ago, at nakita ko yung ambience ng pagbabago. Yung bang, mga kapatid, kung ang kasama mo sa kwarto, kapag nagbukas ng, 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 ng drawer, yung bang patabog, na-imagine pa ninyo yung patabog na ano, tapos eh, kapag may nakausap sa, sa, sa mga supplier of kung sino man, na kumisan eh, yung, ano, yung cellphone eh, talagang, Inano sa lamesa na ano, kapatabog. Hindi mo alamang kung may effect emotionally. But the point here is God put you there for a purpose. 
to pray for them. Kaya kung misan, nakatalikod kami, naka ano kami sa mga masinamit is black. Na, kung misan sisipahin mo na mesa, Yun. What kind of environment it is if you can imagine it? Di ba? Galing kami sa technical office na tahimik, tapos ganun ang environment po. What is the purpose of this? Ang sabi ng Panginoon sa akin, the time, pray for him. Pray for these people. And thanks be to God. Kaya, Ang sabi ng Panginoon, but in everything, anuman ang mga source ng anxiety na yan, sabi ng Panginoon, tell me everything by prayer, by prayer. Ano ibig sabihin ng prayer? He is your God and you have a relationship unto Him. Prayer is the method of communication between man and God. Now, you have a direct communication now because you accepted Him as your Lord and Savior. God wants you to connect every day of your life sa Kanya. At ito ang ninanais ng Panginoon. We have to communicate because we have an established relationship unto Him. Because when you pray, you are telling Him, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. I need you, Jesus, for this day. Holy Spirit, ikaw ang kumilos sa buhay ko nitong araw na ito. And supplication, anong sinasabi ng sandal ng Panginoon? Supplication, anong ibig sabihin ng supplication? It is a petition in a right attitude requesting to God. Supplication can be described as pleading humbly. We have to humble ourselves unto God when we are praying unto Him. Telling Him everything that He can do. That you ang belief natin that kapag lumapit na tayo sa Panginoon, we are ready by heart, by faith, to your spirit is ready to talk unto Him. And God is going to move upon our lives. At ang sabi pa ng Panginoon dito is and supplication with thanksgiving. Come to Him with a thankful heart. With gratitude within our heart. Why? Because in every day of our life we are experiencing victory in life because of Jesus. Because of our prayer. If you realize in your life sometimes we forgot to pray. We forgot to ask God to move in our lives. But, merong mga nagaganap. Bakit naganap? I will ang gumagawa ng conclusion na kalimutan kong manalangin. Sa ating buhay, prayer is very, very important because when you pray, that means I need supernatural power that comes from the Lord and saying it unto the Lord, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I need you. Lahat tayo, naranasan natin sa ating mga buhay ngayon, lalo-lalo na itong mga panahon na ito. Sa ating pansa, we keep on praying for our country, Philippines, for our nation, for our leaders. Itong generation na ito, alam natin ang mga nagaganap. Huwag tayong matakot. Dahil sa amin ng Panginoon, do not fear. I am your God. Ito'y pinag-aralo natin ng mga previous messages that we don't have to wear fear dahil ang fear hindi galing sa Panginoon. Ang binigay ng Panginoon sa atin is sound mind. Dahil ang Panalang Espiritu 
ay nasa sa atin. At makikita natin dito si Apostle Paul yung kanyang gratitude with all the things that the yung mga taga-Pilipians na tinulungan siya sa pagiging generosity ng mga taga-Pilipos. At sabi pa ng salita ng Panginoon, let your request be made known to God. Let your request be made known to God. That means we have to trust and have faith na maging totally dependent tayo and to His Lordship sa ating mga buhay. Maging dependent tayo. Ano man ang mangyari, mga kapatid, maging totally dependent tayo, total surrender tayo unto the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Ang sabi ng Pilipe, ng, ng Psalm 46 verse 10, Be still and know that I am God. At ang sabi pa ng Panginoon is, sa Psalm 46 verse 1, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help us in times of troubles. Our God is always ready to help us. All we need is to do our part. Just call unto Him and He will answer us. Sa ating mga panahon ng buhay ngayon, pahirap ng pahirap at takbo ng ating buhay. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, Tayo ng mga anak niya is ang kapayapaan na nagagaling sa Panginoon hindi kaya ikumpara sa kapayapaan na nararanasan natin sa presensya ng ating Panginoon. Magluluman ang mundo natin ginagalawan. Subalit ang kapayapaan na nagagaling sa Panginoon nandong pa rin ang, ang joy of life. Hindi tayo dapat bumagabang hindi tayo dapat mag magkaroon ng, ng kabalisan sa ating mga buhay. Kung meron mga kabalisan na dumarating, we have to die birth. Hindi yung kabalisan na naranasan natin, ito ang magkontrol ng ating emosyon. Kundi, let us bring it unto God. And God have promised us that he will answer our prayer in name in the name of Jesus. Ang mensahe ng Panginoon is the simple application in our daily lives. Pero napaka-importante dahil ayaw ng Panginoon na mamuhay tayo na may kabalisaan. Sabagat kapag ang kabalisaan ang siyang nag-ari sa iyong buhay, nagkakaroon ka na ng doubt sa iyong pananampalataya dahil ikaw na ang kumikilos. Kaya we need a supernatural power that comes from the Lord at magaganap lamang yun is hindi siya nagaganap na automatic kundi iniingi. Kaya sinasabi ng Panginoon keep on asking and it shall be given. Keep on seeking Keep on seeking the Lord, and you will find Him. And keep on knocking, and the door will be open. Mga kapatid, prayer is very important. Communication unto God. It is very important. Huwag natin pagampasin ang isang araw. Or early in the morning, we have to start the day with prayer, with a thankful heart. We full of gratitude in our heart, giving Him thanks for all the things that we have done. In closing the day, with a thankful heart, giving thanks unto our God because we receive, we experience the victory for the day because God moves in our prayer. Kaya, Mga kapatid, I am encouraging you. Don't miss any single day in prayer. Early in the morning, start in the morning and end up in the evening. 
in the middle of it while we are working. It is the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Ano mang nararanasan mo, ano man ang ambience, bumulo ka lang. Nandiyan ang banal na Espiritu na tutulong sa'yo. I am saying this, I am experiencing this, lalo-lalo na kapag yung presyo sa trabaho, sa mga calculation, at humingi ako ng wisdom, and the Lord, immediately binibigyan niya yan. Ito ay isang patutuko. Kapag <laughs> nahihirapan ka na, at you need a wisdom that comes from the Lord in a simple way, Lord, bigyan mo ako ng wisdom para mapapadali ito. And from then, thanks be to God, I testify this up to you, and I want you to experience it. May kanya-kanya din tayo, hindi niya tayo ka ng trabaho. May kanya-kanya wisdom na binibigay ang Panginoon sa atin to overcome the hardship in life. But ang pinaka-king is, kailangan mo si Jesus. Kailangan mo ang baral na spirit mo. At kapag ito ay ginawa mo, ang sabi ng Perseverance is, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guide your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. After obeying yung, 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 yung Philippians 4, 6, ang sabi ng verse 7, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guide your heart and minds to Christ Jesus. Nandun na yung peace. Yung peace na hindi mo mo namang nawaan how it happens ang dito. Nung, nung nando ka pa sa stage ng kabalisaan, you don't know what to do, what to do. And you apply what the Word of God said. You pray, you tell everything unto God, and you give thanks unto God, and everything sinabi mo sa Panginoon, you trust Him and faith on Him. At ano ang nangyari nung ginawa mo ito? and the peace of God na nanasan mo sa iyong buhay. Sa iyo kapatid, ano ang nangyayari mo ngayon? At this present times, ikaw ang nangyayari, ano ang nangyayari? Kabalisaan. Is there something within, within you that bothering you? Is the Holy Spirit talking unto you? It is the Holy Spirit saying, raise forgiveness to anyone who hurts you. It is something that God is telling you. Raise yourself from anything that the devil can use to disturb us. At yung kapayapaan, hindi natin nararanasan because of the anxiety, because there is something inside of us bothering us. There's something inside of us na kinakalkulate o kinukulit to be ni Satan ng, 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 ng evil spirit. Kinukulit to be. Inistira. Ano yung what is inside of you? Let us release. Because our God is a deliverer God. God knows what is inside of us. Kaya, ano ang sabi ng Philippians 4, 8? Amen? And finally, after all this anxiety, you have given it unto God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. Amen? So, ano ang, ano mo ang, sa nakapapiyan ng verse 8? Finally, my brethren, you are victorious into your life. Ito dapat ang maging laman ng inyong isip. <coughs> Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, 
whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good report, if there's any virtue, and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Wag natin i-meditate kung yung galit natin sa iba. It happens into our life. Many things, negative things, in which the Lord is telling us, dapat ang maging laman ng mga bagay na yan sa ating mga puso, sa ating kaisipan, ay yung mga bagay na kaibig-ibig. Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good report, if there's any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Let the word of God conquer our mind. Let the word of God na, na ito ang maging laman, ang takbo ng ating isip, gaging takbo ng ating everyday life. It, because it is the word of God that guiding us. Kaya, ang sabi ng ng, 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 ng Diyos sa 1A, that we have to meditate is more day and night para maging matagumpay daw ang ating buhay. Why? It is true. In every day of our life, when we ask Jesus, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. And we surrender our life. The victory is makakamta natin ito. Kaya mga kapatid, the message of the Lord is just as simple as this. Because this verse, is very popular into our personal life. But I want to express this one. The way I experience this one, the way I I I I I apply it into my daily lives. Really, the word of God. It's a miracle word. Now binibigay ng atin panginoon. Yung kapayapaan igit dito, which surpasses all understanding. We have to move and make a decision unto our lives. We have to follow what the word of God said and do our life. Kaya, conclusion sa mensahe ng Panginoon, I want you to read. I want na basahin ko ang sinasabi ng salita ng Panginoon dito sa Philippians 4. Verse 10 hanggang 13. Ang sabi niya ng salita ng Panginoon, But I rejoice in the Lord greatly, that now at last your care for me as flowers again. Though you surely did care, but you lack opportunity, not that I speak in regard to me, for I have learned in whatever state I did come to be content. I know how to abase, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be poor and to be angry, both to abound and to suffer men. I can do all things through Christ, who strengthen me. All I need, it is, it is my declaration of my faith. All I need is Jesus in every day of my life. In the service, into the ministry, maging within my family, within my responsibility, in my work, all I need is Jesus. In wisdom, in knowledge, according to the word of God, it is my declaration of my faith, pagkapatid. All I need, I am to be contented in the name of Jesus. Ikaw ang kailangan ko, Panginoon. Maraming salamat. Ito ang mensahe ng Panginoon na ay do believe ito ay nagbigay ng inspirasyon. Magpatuloy lang tayo. The Lord is with us. No one can be against us because the Lord ay kasama natin. He never leave us nor forsake us. In Jesus' name, tayo ay manalangin. Hallelujah, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon, 
sa inspirasyon, O God, na binigay mo sa amin. Salamat sa sa word, O God, na pinagkaloob mo. Mga um, mga press revelation, Panginoon, na inimpart mo, Panginoon, sa aming kalagitnaan. May your Holy Spirit minister upon your people, Panginoon. Ano man po, O God, ang dinadaanan, dinalakaran, Panginoon. May magpubako na dinalakaran, Panginoon. Alam po namin, O God, may gagawin ka. At ang kapayapaan na nanggagaling sa iyo, ay siya po patuloy, O God, na makakaranghasan po namin dahil ikaw ang aming Diyos na mapagmaan. Ang ikaw ang aming Diyos na mapagin. Ikaw ang aming Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Pinagkakaduwala ko po sa iyo. O God, ang buhay ng bawat isa, nawa ang salita mo na narinig ngayon, O God, ito'y magbigay po, O God, na motivate yung factor, Panginoon, that there is power in prayer in the name of Jesus. All we need is Chief of God. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Uh, thank you po, Tatay Ting, for uh, being used by God to deliver the message uh, this afternoon to everybody. Um, yung uh, takeaway ko po dun sa uh, message ng ating Panginoon, uh, God showed me what is the difference between a non-believer and a believer when it comes to I sorry po thank you po <laughs> ayun and praise God thank you po sister Clau for <laughs> for ano <laughs> nagsasalita na ako wala wala na din na, 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 na. praise God so salamat po pastor Ding uh, yun nga po um, dun sa uh, take away ko po dun sa narinig ko po mensahe ng Panginoon God uh, showed me what is the difference between a believer and a non-believer when it comes to worries, when it comes to problems. Because all of us, lahat po ng tao sa mundo, dumadaan po sa problema. Dumada, lahat po tayo, walang exception. Lahat po tayo may alalahanin. Now what is our different? Uh, ano yung difference natin sa mundo? The people of the world, when worry comes into their life, they will do everything. Yung sarili nilang kakayahan, gagamitin nila yung uh, sarili nilang lakas para ma-resolve yung worries nila. Um, but, if hindi sila magtagumpay, nawawalan sila ng joy, nawawalan sila ng peace. Tayo, ang difference natin, we are still. Because we know that we have a God. Amen. Binigyan tayo ng antidote kung paano natin ibabattle yung worries natin in life. Amen. Ano sabi ng uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7? Sabi niya, do not be anxious, do not worry about anything. Anong kailangan natin gawin? Ano yung antidote na binigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon? We need to come to God. We need to pray. And coming to God, we need to humble ourselves. Lord, we, I cannot do anything about this. Amen. I'm not relying on my own strength. I'm relying on you. That's why we 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 made our request. Amen. There's supplication. And then together with prayer and supplication, there is thanks thanksgiving. The, there is gratefulness. Because one thing that can battle worry is being grateful. Being grateful in life. Na naa-appreciate hindi tayo na consume ng mga bagay na uh, pinoproblema natin but we see the positive things in our life we are still grateful na Lord oo may problema ako pero meron akong trabaho Amen nandito ako sumusweldo pa rin ako Amen Hini, hinihintay ko pa yung biyaya na ipagkakalaob mo sa akin Amen there's still gratefulness in our heart yun po yung yung nakita ko din sa mensahe ng ating Panginoon sa, sa hapon na ito that we are being we are truly set apart from this world. Amen. Amen. We are still, we do not worry because we know that we have a God. Amen. Amen. Sige po, palakpakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. Tayo pong lahat ay tumayo at muli uh, magbigay ng pasalamat sa ating Panginoon. Lord, 
Truly, you are a great God. You deserve all the praises, all the honor, and adoration, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong kapunihan sa aming mga buhay. Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong pagmamahal, O Lord God. Lord, salamat po, Panginoon, sa, sa hapon na ito na kami, Panginoon, ay muli niyong binusog, Panginoon, ng inyong salita. Lord, salamat sa, sa mga taong ginamit mo uh, na nagminister sa bawat isa sa amin sa, sa hapon na ito from uh, from your presider to the music team, Panginoon to your messenger, O Lord God thank you for their lives, O Lord continue to uh, pour out your blessing kayo po, Panginoon, ang magbalik sa kanila ng, ng, ng biyaya, Panginoon sa kanilang mga buhay Lord we just want to praise you we just want to exalt you, Panginoon to the highest, O Lord God in our life, to give glory to you all, uh, alone, Father God. Na Lord, may mga problema kaming pinagdadaanan, Panginoon. We are not exempted, Panginoon, as you have mentioned in your word, Panginoon, that we, we, we face different kinds of troubles, O Lord God. But, Lord, there is peace in us. Lord God, hindi nyo hinahayaan mo wala yung kapayapaan sa aming mga buhay, Panginoon. You always remind us, Panginoon, when we are in trouble, Lord God, to be still and know that you are in control, O oh Father God. Lord, you remind us to always come to you. There is always an open invitation in front of us, O oh Lord, inviting us to come to you, Panginoon, to draw near to you, Father God, because you are the only solution, Panginoon, to our problems, O oh Lord God. Salamat, Panginoon, for these beautiful reminders, O oh Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for the encouragement that we heard this, this afternoon. Lord, Sa, sa paghiwahiwali po namin mga kapatid, babaunin po namin, Panginoon, ang mga salitang narinig namin na nagaling sa inyo sa hapon na ito. Lord, we are just praying to you through the power of the Holy Spirit to empower us na may, may isa pamuhay po namin ang mga, ang, ang mga salitang narinig po namin sa hapon na ito. And Lord, through the authority that bestowed upon me that comes to you, Father God, as my brothers and sisters raise their hand, Panginoon, I release, Panginoon, your blessing to their life. I release, Panginoon, your healing, Panginoon, na nagmumula lamang sa inyo, mula sa kanila hanggang sa kanilang buong pamilya. We remember, Panginoon, na Nay Bernardita, Panginoon. Lord, we continuously pray for your supernatural healing, Panginoon, to come into her life, Panginoon. Lord, you are the God who provides. You provide everything that we need, all our God. And Lord, you will pour out your provisions, Panginoon, sa aking mga kapatid. At Lord, hindi mo aalisin, Panginoon, ang kapayapaan sa kanilang mga buhay, Panginoon. Pagkos, Panginoon, ibubuhos mo, Panginoon, ang iyong pagmamahal sa, sa bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon. Mula ngayon hanggang sa wakas, Lord God. Lord, patuloy niyo po kaming protektahan. Ano man po yung gawain namin for the rest of the afternoon, for the rest of the evening, Lord God, continue to cover us. Lord God, continue to be with us and continue to uh, uh, guide us, O Lord God. Lord, lahat ng papuri binibigay po namin sa inyo. Itinataas ka namin sa aming mga buhay, Panginoon. Lahat po ng ito ay aming sinasambit sa matamis na pangalan ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Kasama ang iyong banana spirito. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Palapakal po natin ang ating Panginoon. Once again, maraming maraming salamat po for joining us this uh, wonderful afternoon. Thank you everybody. Thank salamat you. po. Thank you po. Maraming God bless po. Tatay Ding. Salamat po, Tatay Ding. Tatay, thank you Gupo po. Gupo pa, thank you po. Uh, Kuya Jack, Kuya Jack, Adi, uh, Ilar family, thank you po. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sales family. God bless po. God bless po.